final leg back again to talk about the last stop on the World Indoor Tour Series that went down in Madrid, Spain. The first performance, I think everyone knows about it right now, Yulimar Rojas from Venezuela. She jumped a world record in that women's triple jump, 15.43 meters. Again, indoor world record performance. Not only an indoor world record, but that's actually better than her outdoor personal best of 15.41 meters. And it's only seven centimeters away from the outdoor world record. So she looks primed to potentially get that outdoor world record. And she is definitely going into the Tokyo Olympics as the clear favorite in the event. In addition, she jumped 15.29 meters in one of the earlier rounds, which actually now is the third best jump in indoor history. So she owns the world record 15.43 meters and the third best jump 15.29 meters. So Yulimar Rojas really dominating and is going to be one of the most dominant athletes during this 2020 season. Definitely one to look out for. Keeping it in the long jump, we had Juan Miguel Echevarria from Cuba. He managed to get out to a huge world lead of 8.41 meters in that final round of the long jump. Very strong performance from him. This is coming off of the first two rounds where he managed to jump 8.33 meters and 8.31 meters, which are all world leads as well. So very strong performance from Echevarria. He has been having a really great long jump past two couple years. So he's definitely going to be looking to improve upon the bronze he got in Doha last year, going for something big in Tokyo this year. So keep a lookout for Echevarria. The women's 60 meter hurdles is on fire during the 2020 indoor season and Madrid did not disappoint. Christina Clemens and Nia Ali, both from the United States, going up against each other again. Christina Clemens, though, she managed to get the win here in a best of 7.82 seconds, a season's best for her and makes her number two in the world in 2020. Nia Ali was not too far behind, also set a season's best 7.88 seconds. This is just coming off of running a season's best as well in the heats of 7.88 seconds from Ali. Clemens had also run a best of 7.90 seconds. So the consistency from both these ladies is really prevalent during the 2020 indoor season and is going to translate outdoors in those 100 meter hurdles. So keep a lookout for these ladies. Now moving into the men's 60 meters, we saw Ronnie Baker again in that 60 meter dash, got a very comfortable win, 6.44 seconds. So tying the time that he had just ran in France a couple days ago, very strong performance from him. Again, the consistency that he's showing here, really showing he's recovered from his injuries and is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the outdoor 100 meters. He was also followed very closely behind by Demi Kemp, also from the United States. He ran a very strong personal best of 6.48 seconds, makes him number three in the world, only behind Christian Coleman and Ronnie Baker now. So great performances from these guys. On the 60 meter hurdle side of things for the men, we saw Andrew Pazzi from Great Britain, who's been having a great season. He managed to get out to a season's best of 7.48 seconds, number three in the world, only behind Grant Holloway and Pascal Martin Lagarde. So very strong performance there, followed very closely behind by Ayuba from Kuwait, who ran a personal best of 7.52 seconds, makes him number six in the world for 2020. So great performances in that men's 60 meter hurdles. Finally, let's end things off in the field again. We had that men's triple jump, Hughes Fabrice Zango from Burkina Faso, very consistent through the indoor 2020 season. He managed to get out to a best of 15.31 meters, the third best performance in 2020, only behind the two other performances he had this year. So great 2020 indoor season for him. He's definitely going to translate this outdoors, going for improvement on his bronze medal from Doha for something big in Tokyo. So keep a lookout for Zango. All right, so those are just some of the highlights from the World Indoor Tour meeting in Madrid, Spain. Again, this is the last leg of the World Indoor Tour. We don't have the World Indoor Championships. Those were postponed till next year. But make sure you guys check out the full results from the meet. I'm going to leave that in the description. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite performance from the meet was. We have a lot more coming. The indoor season is not done. NCAAs is still rolling and a lot of other competitions as well. So make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and we'll be back again very soon. Thanks.